Day 3 In Tsumpongo, we are building one of many homes and the kids help prep the concrete blocks for the next house that we are building. While the builders measure the depths of the rebar inside the last row of U-blocks, we prepare another cement gravel mix to pour inside. After we finish pouring the mix, we let it set and we take a break for lunch. Afterwards, the kids play with their new toys Amy brought. We had a bit more time to ourselves today since we had already completed all 12 rows and we're preparing to pour the concrete floor for tomorrow. Amy and I went to the local brewery for some craft beer after we finished up. We even saw a Fuego Volcano erupting as it was quite active. After I finish volunteering, I plan on hiking Volcan Acatenango. Even though it's only a two day hike, I have heard that it was quite challenging. But if the weather is near perfect, you can see Volcano Fuego erupt. Once I reached my homestay, the pet turtle that Thelma in her home, it was a cute moment that reminded me that everything and everyone is worthy of love. Day four. Typically, the volunteers will visit Escuela Kema Oje. Unfortunately, due to COVID, the students were all in their homes. Oscar asked me, since I was the only volunteer besides Amy, if I wanted to go, and that the only people present were the teachers and not much activity was going on. But I was curious, so we went in the morning. Oscar also asked me to come back and coach basketball when things get back to normal. He showed me around the area and showed me their new playground. Please leave a comment if you want me to make a video about Kema OJ and how the school is operated and funded. I went to the site after where they had already applied stucco to the concrete. Not only for aesthetics, but also to strengthen and protect it from the elements. Additionally, we poured concrete for the walkway of the door and for the floor of the home. Once the stucco has dried, the family can choose the color of their choice for both inside and outside the house. The family chose green for the outside and blue for the inside. Everyone helped out with the painting, even the neighbor's kids, while the builders installed the roof. Day 5 In the past, volunteers would go to the St. Joseph's Medical Clinic, but again, because of COVID, this was not possible. Therefore, we just went to the site to put the finishing touches on the house's door and window. Following the completion of the home, they all gathered the tools and equipment to make sure everything was accounted for. As we have the key giving ceremony on this last day, the family usually cooks a meal for us. I had the honor of presenting the key to the father for their new home. Being able to provide whatever assistance I can to those in need gave me a sense of compassion. Although the Bajak family does not realize it, it has been very beneficial 
to my mental health. I have been going through some difficult times, staying at home, problems with family, dealing with the COVID situation, turmoil in the US, senseless beatings and killings of Asians, and I wasn't in the right mindset, so I have to get out. I could discuss this in another video if you would like me to share. As they installed the door and we waited for the ceremony slash lunch, we had a bit of downtime to mingle and enjoy everyone's company. Okay, I cover, I cover, I cover. No, I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hola. In English. Hello. 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 Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Okay. Very good. I also found it interesting that when building this 13 by 19 foot home, they considered how the family would maintain it. Considering the size and structure is key when building a home of this size, they would use the leftover material and they would like the family to continue to build maybe another room or another bathroom or do anything they can improve their new concrete home so they can continue to make improvements on their own. We were served chicken mole, tortillas, and homemade salsa. I asked the same daughter to braid my hair again because I loved how it looked before. We had some of the neighbors gather around the door and I thought it was a fun moment for me. So for the key giving ceremony, we had Carmen attend as she introduced the Bazak family to their new home from houses to home.
I got to present the key to the Rajat family. In addition to taking photos and exchanging a few words, I gave a hug to every member of the family as a token of my appreciation. That no matter where we are located in this world, we can be giving and connected. It was an experience I will never forget and carry for me for the rest of my life. The entire week has been a blessing and I am grateful that I was able to be a part of it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this video as much as my experiences throughout the week volunteering in Guatemala. If you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing, and watch out for my next video. Until then, this is Al with Travel Like Water. Keep moving. Peace. One eternity later. Oh!